pesto pizza dough. Simplest thing you could ever make. Why go to the store and buy it? You start with water. So about one and a quarter cups of warm water. And if you've made a lot of dough like I have, you just know when the temperature is right. But if you have it, get an instant read thermometer. Between 110 and 115 degrees is just about right. So now we want some yeast. And for this, about two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast. And we want that to dissolve in our bowl. And sometimes, I'll give you a one of my little tricks here, I use a lot less yeast when I want something to rise very slowly because then I'll get a much better tang in the dough. But two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast, and all we really want to do is mix that around and let that dissolve. Now to this, to give the dough some really added flavor, I'm going to add some honey because yeast loves to feed on any kind of sugar. So we want, oh, about, I would say, a tablespoon or so. And that is about a tablespoon of honey. So I'm going to set that aside. And then about a tablespoon of extra virgin or organic olive oil. That'll create some nice moisture. Meanwhile, I have my oven already heating because I'm going to bake this pizza on a stone, but you could easily do it just on a bake sheet. So we have these ingredients. Now we need salt because salt controls how fast that dough is going to rise. No salt, you'll have no flavor and the dough will just go rampant everywhere. So we'll put some salt in and now we need flour. So I start by adding about two cups of flour. That was one and a quarter cups of water and just mix this around. I don't want to put all of the flour in at one time because I don't know exactly how much flour this is going to take. So if you add it in increments, instead of putting it all in at one time, you won't have a dough that's too stiff. I want to create a nice, soft, supple dough here. And a dough like this, we want to let rise until it's double in size. So once you get it into somewhat of a rough state, then you can take it out on your board and you can knead it. And I know that this is a very soft dough. And another little trick for keeping the flour off of your hands is to often, I just wet my hands, but I think you get the idea of what you need to do here. Take this dough and you plop it right in there, just like that. And now we just turn that around in that oil. That's really going to give that a really nice flavor. You see how nice now that comes away from the bowl. So now we want to cover this because this has to rise, as I say, for about an hour and a half. And when I can do that, poke two fingers in the dough and it doesn't close up completely, I know that the dough is ready. So with a rolling pin, or you could do this with your hands if you wanted to, you roll the dough out. So I want to cook some onions. So there's a little olive oil in the pan. We're going to add some red onions. Why am I using red onions? Love the flavor, folks, but you can use any onion you want. So the red onions go in, thinly sliced, and then with that, we want to give that a little bit of salt and pepper. Season those. A little salt, a little pepper. Really cook through, glazed, and they're very, very delicious. They have a nice sweet flavor. So that's going on top of the pizza. So I think you get that. So I'm going to turn this off. We're going to give this a little drizzle of olive oil over the top and just spread that out. Now we add those cooled onions. Here they are. You spread them over the pizza. Imagine how good this is going to taste with those really sweet figs. So give this a nice thin bed. You know, Italian pizzas are not overloaded with toppings. The American style pizzas that you get today are not really 
the type of pizza, pizza that you would be finding in Italy. So you want to spread that thinly because there should be a nice ratio of the topping to the dough. Now this pizza is going to get cooked in increments because we have to cook this part first with the figs. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to add some cheese, but not just any cheese, this cheese. That's Montasio. Montasio is a cow's milk cheese. It comes from the region of Friuli Venezia Giulia in the northwest part of Italy, or the northeastern part of Italy, rather. And it is a really great eating cheese. It's got a mild taste. It melts beautifully. It's perfect for this pizza. And we go right over to the oven, which remember, I have a stone in here, and it is preheated. We just flop it on there, and we watch, and we wait. So remember, we cooked it for about 15 minutes. Now I have that Montasio cheese. I'm going to spread it over the top. If I had put this on in the be beginning with the figs and the onions, it would have been too browned. So that's why I want to add it. But you can see what a beautiful edge, crusty edge, this pizza is getting. So as much cheese as you would like, I would say. So that's got to go back in now, just till that cheese melts. And then we're going to add, we will add the prosciutto and some arugula. 